We discuss question four of Pair Level Mathematics Paper 6, Probability and Statistics 2, in May or June of year 2020. A sphere spinner has five sides numbered one through five. The score on each spin is denoted by x. The values of x are one, two, three, four, and five. Part A, we need to show that the variance of x is two. The variance of x is given by the expected value of x squared minus the square of the expected value of x. To find the expected value of x squared and the expected value of x, we can use a probability distribution table. X has values one, two, three, four, or five. The probability that X has each of these outcome is one over five, since the spinner is fair. To find the expected value of X, we need to multiply X by its probability so we have one times one over five, that is one over five. Two times one over five, that is two over five. Then we have three over five, four times one over five is four over five. And then we have five over five. What we need to do now is we just need to add all these values. So to add all these values, that will give us a value of three. So the sum of x and p of x here is three. And the sum of x and p of x this is also the expected value of x. We can compute x squared times its probability. x squared one squared is one times one over five is one over five. Two squared is four. 4 times 1 over 5, that is 4 over 5. Then the third one is 9 over 5. The fourth is 16 over 5. And the last one is 25 over 5. When we add all these, we have the sum of x squared p of x. That is 11. And this is also the expected value of x squared. The variance is the expected value of x squared, which is 11, minus the square of the expected value of x. So we need to square 3, 11 minus 9 is 2. Therefore, we show that the variance of x is 2. For part b, Fiona has another spinner with five sides as well. She suspects that it is biased so that the expected score is less than three. So it is biased so that the expected score is less than three. If the spinner is unbiased, the expected score must be three from part A. In order to test the suspicion, she plans to spin her spinner 4D times, n is 4D. If the mean score is less than 2.6, so if x bar is less than 2.6, she will conclude that her spinner is biased in this way. We need to find the probability of type 1 error for part B. She's testing the hypothesis that the spinner is fair. If the spinner is fair, the mean must be three. And what she suspects is that the expected score is less than three. We are testing it against the alternative that mu is less than three. Under the now hypothesis, we know that x bar follows a normal distribution. Since n is 40, it is large. 
the distribution of x bar is normal from the central limit theorem. The mean of x is three and the variance of x. Under the null hypothesis, if the spinner is fair, the variance of x was two just now. So the variance of x bar in this case, the variance of x bar is the variance of x over 4d. So we have variance of x over 4d, which is n. And that is 2 over 4d, which is 1 over 20. Then the distribution of x bar is a normal distribution with a mean of 3 and a variance of 1 over 20, assuming that the spinner is fair. Part D here, we need to find the probability of a type one error. The probability of a type one error. A type one error is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. We reject the null hypothesis when x bar is less than 2.6. So to reject the null hypothesis, we need to compute that the probability of x bar less than 2.6, given that the null hypothesis is true. If the null hypothesis is true, that is the distribution of x bar. We standardize using that distribution because uh, that is the condition that the null hypothesis is true. Then when we standardize, we have z less than 2.6 minus the mean, which is 3, divided by the standard deviation that is square root of 1 over 20. And z here follows a standard normal distribution. So upon computing, we have negative 1.789. We need to find the probability using a standard normal table, the area of negative 1.789. That is the area that we want. But um, the standard normal table is a left tail table with all the z values greater than zero. So what we could do is we can use symmetry 1.789. This is the area that we need to find. We can get this area from the standard normal table. This is 0 0.9633. And the area that we need is 1 minus 0 0.9633, which is 0 0.0367. The probability of type 1 error is 0 0.0367. Part B has an answer of 0 0.0367. Part C states what is meant by a type two error in this context. We are looking at the context of the question. Type two error is the error committed when we retain the null hypothesis even though it is false. Retaining the null hypothesis indicates that the mean score, the mean is three. When you retain the null hypothesis, you say that the mean is three, that means the spinner is unbiased, then it will have a mean score of three. So this is the case that the spinner is unbiased. Given that the null hypothesis is false, if the null hypothesis is false, that means the spinner is biased. Then type two error is the error committed when we conclude that the spinner is unbiased when it is biased. 